Welcome back, it's your girl Kayla Lachey. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you dolls are new. I went to Whole Foods and I haven't been to Whole Foods in a very long time. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to give you dolls a little bit of a haul. Show you guys things that I'm gonna be having now that it's like cozy season. I feel like my food choices tend to change up a little bit. So if you guys are new, I am dairy free, I'm nut free, and I try my best to avoid like soy <laughs> but soy is in everything we're still working on that but i'm gonna just dive in because i wanted to make this a super quick vlog sorry that i look like an egghead <laughs> this was me running errands today so i went to like not the hot bar but like the counter and i requested some chicken breast this is the paleo friendly chicken breast so essentially it's just salt pepper and some olive oil i'm not gonna open it i just got two breasts that was about $12 and six cents. I feel like it's super easy if you just want to come home and make a super quick meal. I'm planning on doing some chicken Caesar salads, not so Caesar salads. So I got this crispy leaf lettuce. I'll probably use one whole container or maybe get three salads out of both of these for this week. And I'm trying to still increase my micronutrients and I just had a taste for a Caesar salad at home. I've also been really liking like my dairy-free charcuterie boards. I recently did a video on my vlog channel showing you guys how I make it dairy-free. So I got these um, meats. I've never tried this brand before. Honestly, guys, I don't go to Whole Foods like that. It's a whole paycheck up in there, okay? I spent about $110 on like specialty items. I prefer a Trader Joe's run, but you can get everything at Trader Joe's. So I just got this uncured pepperoni without antibiotics, and then I wanted to try their black peppercorn salami for my little charcuterie boards. And that's just a great way to get some protein in and some extra calories for me. So I like having that as sometimes like a lunch. I also wanted to try the chicken and apple breakfast sausage from the Applegate brand. Really love this brand. You can find their stuff at Wegmans and Target, but they have a much better variety and selection at Whole Foods. So I'm really excited to have that for breakfast with these vegan croissants. I love their vegan croissants. And I'm so happy they have a lot of vegan pastry items in the bakery section. They do some really good blueberry vegan scones. So highly recommend those. These were only $8 and they're pretty high calorie, which I like for my way of eating. It's 370 for one vegan croissant. And honestly, they don't taste any different to me personally when you compare it to a traditional croissant. So how many times can I say the word croissant? <laughs> I just love those. Go to Whole Foods, get the vegan croissants, and you guys will be obsessed. And I highly recommend. Ooh, I wanted to try this out because I like the Applegate brand so much. These are a gluten-free uncured beef corn dog. Not the healthiest. Okay, I also went to the store hungry, but I wanna try these out. I don't really do gluten-free stuff. Um, I'll take the gluten, I don't really mind that. These do have soy in them and egg as an allergen, but they're dairy free, which is super important for me. And it's six grams of protein and there's four. There's four in this little box. I don't know, let me know if you guys have ever tried these and if you would recommend them. I feel like this is a good like, oh, I'm gonna have a snack type of thing and just grab it and heat it up, you know, to hold you over till your next meal. I also wanted to try the 365 original hummus. So I feel like you can't really go wrong with that. They had so many different types of hummus, but I'm basic when it comes to it. This for me is like my cheese substitute for my charcuterie boards. It goes really well. And if you dolls are dairy free, like I mentioned in my vlog of making it, I'll link it in the cards. Highly recommend you guys try out substituting hummus for your vegan cheeses. It just tastes way better in my opinion. And they also have the best selection, which is why I love Whole Foods, of like the ready 
to eat foods, specifically like the soups. And surprisingly enough, there's a lot of dairy-free soup options. One of my favorites is this sausage and shrimp gumbo soup. And it actually already has rice in here. You could totally add some more to it if you wanted to bulk it up even more. And it just has shellfish and wheat listed as an ingredient of allergens. This is just so cozy for a gloomy cold fall day. And I love soups this time of the year. I just feel like the savory saltiness is so good. And I specifically went to pick up this split pea soup, which does not look that appetizing. But if you pair this with like a toasted sourdough bread, put some vegan butter, it's such a good side. So I really like their soup options. And I'm planning on doing a lot of soups within my meals because they're just delicious, okay? And then some other little things that I had picked up were the organic seasoned croutons, also from the 365 brand. They have a lot of croutons. Um, these ones in particular aren't dairy free. You just have to flip it over on the back because the packaging looks the same. I think the other ones are like organic garlic. Those have butter in them. So love that they have some vegan options for those of us that don't eat the dairy. And I love this, uh, what is it? Follow your heart Parmesan. This is so good. I'm gonna use this on my salads and also just throwing on like a pasta dish. I recently made some spaghetti squash pasta. So I got some of this to throw on top, make it really yummy. Also stocked up on some Earth Balance butter. So I feel like I spent a lot, but I got some staples. And also they have my burritos. Those of you guys that know, you know that I love Amy's. Anything Annie's and Amy's, I love. They have such good stuff. These are the bean and rice non-dairy burritos. If I just want like a quick snack or something, boom, I'll make this. If I want like a meatless meal, I'll have two of these because it's high calorie and 20 grams of protein for two burritos. So I'm trying to bulk, okay? And I just like having plant-based high protein foods. So I got like four of these. These are kind of expensive. I think they're like $3.70 for one. But it's still less than eating out. So that's just what I have to tell myself. And then for my dressing, I needed to pick up the Caesar. This is a vegan from Follow Your Heart. They do really great vegan dressings. And I do feel like this tastes like a regular Caesar and like you wouldn't even know that it was dairy free. So another favorite that I definitely recommend you dolls pick up, their ranch is really good. I can't remember if they do like a thousand island dressing that's vegan. Let me know if you dolls have a good brand that you would recommend in the comments. Trader Joe's used to have one. It was so good. And then I think they just discontinued it, which kind of sucks. And then the last thing I picked up, I got a lot of the 365 brand is just some orange juice and it's just 100 percent orange juice this one's extra pulp you guys like pulp in your orange juice let me know in the comments i don't really care but i get this for my oxy green smoothies because i like to have a green smoothie every single day so those are just some things that i had picked up and i'm excited because it's like cozy weather so i love soups and pastas a lot of like hearty meals like a beef stew recently just made that in a vlog video as well so if you guys are new here i have two youtube channels and i do a lot of like day in the lifestyle content that's outside of the whole fitness and wellness that is this channel and I do a lot of cooking over there as well. So if that interests you, definitely go ahead and subscribe to Kayla Lachey Vlogs. I wanted to give you a taste test of these corn hogs that kind of exploded. I like mustard. And I'm sorry, I really just look terrible today. But we're just going to ignore that. And see if this is hitting. You can tell it's gluten-free. <laughs> I wonder if they make these not gluten-free or if they would be better in the oven because, or if you have an air fryer. I just put this in the microwave, you guys. I don't know if I would buy this again. But it's also a corn dog, so like what the heck was I expecting? I mean, it's a cute little snack, Whatever. <laughs> the 
it's hot. So I just heated up the gumbo and I didn't add any additional rice to it. And this is also three servings. So whatever I don't finish, I'm gonna just put it back in here. And for the protein, 25 grams for the whole container, only 410 calories. It's very seasoned. And there's shrimp in here and sausage as well. I think that's okra, it's tomato based. It's just a really nice, cozy, comforting meal. I'm gonna add a little salt in this though. It's like salt. Bring out some of those flavors. You okay, lean boy? You choking on your water? So I definitely recommend you dolls check out like the soups and stuff. They're just easy meals that you can just have. And they last a pretty long time. Like if you just don't open it, it lasts about a month, which is crazy to me. So it's just nice to kind of stock up. And I just love me some soups, so many options for the fall season. Name a better salad that's better than a Caesar salad. So that's the chicken I got today from Whole Foods and I just nuked it for about a minute in the microwave. It tastes really good. There's really no seasoning to it. So I do like that because you could add it to whatever you want. Went OD on the croutons and the vegan dressing. So this is a nice, um, I don't know, it's too early for dinner, but <laughs> second lunch, I guess you could say. I'm just really craving a salad. So, yeah. You guys, I was filming a vlog, <laughs> so I forgot that I'm doing a what I eat in a day because your girl can't multitask. And I baked these cinnamon rolls, the pumpkin ones from Trader Joe's. Clearly I haven't finished the best part, which is the center. So if you guys wanna get festive, go pick these up right now before you can't get them anymore. And they're very pumpkin-y, especially with the icing. So I'll probably eat the rest of that after I finish my salad. And they're so good. Also with my salad, I love these. I've recently been picking them up from Trader Joe's. It's just a regular sparkling water. There's no flavoring or anything. So it's just nice sometimes to have some carbonation instead of just drinking only water. And I love water, but I just need a little something carbonated to wash down my meals. I'm watching Degrassi. Because if you know, you know. I'm back, time to eat. I feel like I've been eating all day. I'm gonna have just like a snack and I was looking at my fitness pal and I'm like girl we need some protein so I'm gonna try to add a protein powder to one of these coconut milk yogurts this one is the strawberry banana they do make like protein yogurts but a lot of them I can't have because they're cashew based or they have dairy in them so when you are someone with a dairy sensitivity you gotta do things yourself so I figured I would try adding some blueberry pie blessed protein because it's the fruitiest protein powder that I have. So it must be good. And this, this right here, I don't care if you're dairy free or not, this stuff is so good. And I like the raspberry, that one's my personal favorite. Mm. See if I can get, um, yeah. So I, I ended up tracking half of a scoop and that's about 11 grams of plant-based protein. So for a snack, I'll take the 11 grams of protein. So definitely check out Blessed. Maybe I should do a third of a scoop, mix it and try it. Cause I could always add more. Um, yeah, if you guys want to check out my favorite vegan protein, links below. K10 at checkout will save you money. So I'm just going to mix it in. And I feel like yogurt, I've never tried this before, but I feel like yogurt will dissolve the powdery texture, if that makes sense. Show you guys, I'm making a mess. But this is what it's looking like. I just feel like the consistency of the yogurt will make this taste like 
normal. So I'm just gonna mix that up. I wish I had some like fresh fruit, but I don't. It definitely turned it like a purple, a purple color. But here's a hack. Get different flavors of your protein because if you're a fit girl and you're used to eating high protein diet, baby, I don't know about you, but I get sick of eating the same flavor all the time. So it's nice to have different flavors of our protein that we can have in different snacks like yogurt. Oh, it definitely doesn't mix as well as putting it in a shake so there's kind of clumps of protein, but I don't hate it, especially because the blueberry pie has like a, like a, not a crusty taste, but like the crust of a pie, it kind of has like that taste. Yeah, so I probably did about a third of a scoop. That's not bad. Let me see how many um grams of protein um honestly i'll take whatever i can get because i would have the yogurt anyway and there's no protein in it so one third of a scoop that's still eight grams of protein that's like a cliff bar yeah this is my new favorite thing right now I definitely wouldn't do like half a scoop. This is like the perfect amount of protein for a snack. Life hack, man. Put protein powder in everything. <laughs> if you're trying to hit that protein goal. I know for me, I'm trying to get a butt. I need to stop playing games and just eat my protein. Sometimes that is the hardest part. I don't like eating a lot of meat, so I like stuff like this that's lighter. And um, I don't have to like cook. New favorite combo. I wonder if they have a blueberry flavor of this. I'm gonna try that, the yogurt. Also, I didn't go to the gym today. You guys will see I got Botox, <laughs> so I can't work out, but I got to take my creatine, and if I don't take it now, I'm probably going to forget. I just put it in water. If I'm not having, like, my green smoothie, which I don't think I'm going to have today because I had a salad. Uh, there's one thing about me, and it's I'm not going to skip my creatine. This is the creatine results right here, and... I don't play about my creatine. I want thick legs, okay? The EHP Labs Create is super smooth. It doesn't taste like anything, and it's not gritty. So I love having it with just water. Oops. Delicious. So I'll see you guys back for dinner time. It's 5.40. Now I already made dinner yesterday because I love meal prep, but it looks crazy now, but I'm gonna have this. It's a spaghetti squash with meat sauce and I added corn because I'm a weirdo and I like corn in my meat sauce sometimes. So that's gonna be my dinner for tonight. Probably put some of that vegan Parmesan that I got earlier today and call it a day. Looks like I lost my favorite times See you've been on the mind